Okay, on the last one, we went ahead and made our program. There it is. Um, you can monitor this output and see that we have a dent. We have all these different bits. What we're going to do is we're going to take data from our output array and put it into our output word. By changing the style or the radix to binary, you can you can see it a little bit better here on ones and zeros rather than just a decimal value. I want to see that because we're using this as a bit level. I can go ahead and do this when I monitor the tags, or if I just want it to be that way um, normally, I can come back into my control and change the style from decimal to whatever I want. I'm going to change it to binary on my output, binary on my output array, and on my mask, I'm going to go ahead and put that as hexadecimal. That way I don't have to type in all the, the ones and zeros for my filter. Hit apply. Now we'll go back over here and monitor our tags and you can see that they're being displayed in the right style or radix. Everything here is at the bit level in our array or our database. Now I can go ahead and start putting some data in here. I'm going to put a one in different various areas so that we can turn on various different bits uh, as we step through this process. So go ahead and put some ones in there, just like I did there. And I put five of uh, five ones in there, so we'll just take the length down. I'm going to save my project. I'm going to download this into my emulator chassis or into my processor. And we'll go ahead and step through this and see what what happens. So I'm using RS Links. Go on my emulator, download. Lots of warnings. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do it. Put my processor back in run mode. You can see the green lines here indicating that we're in run. Our emulators in remote run. Everything looks good. Here's our batch tank. Once again, everything's off. So we're at position zero. If I go ahead and start stepping through this, that's a control T, by the way, control toggle. You can notice we're at step one. Uh, nothing's turned on. What we should have done is loaded data from our array into our output. As I step through here, something's, something's obviously wrong. And I believe it's the mask. What, we, what I failed to do was load any data in the mask, so it filtered everything from my array. It's no problem. Go in here put some data into our mask. And what I'm going to do is load this with Fs. Basically what I'm doing is putting ones in every bit location. Wherever there's a zero, it's not going to pass it through. Wherever there's a one, it'll pass the data through. This is a simple filter, a bit filter, bit by bit. You can see I go into binary and you notice I put ones in all there. So now whenever there's a one in my array, it passes through my filter into my output word so it'll work better this time so we'll go back here and start stepping through it again there we go so step one we turn the detergent valve on and you can see our detergent valve is on there's detergent going into our tank now we'll go into another step step two we have our agitator on our detergent valve is off And our drain valve is on now. We've got water draining out of our tank as we step through there. And our drain pump is on. It's indicated by the animation over here. And we can just step through there. Step five, nothing is on. As you can see, everything here is off. Now we're back to the detergent valve on on step one. And it's pretty simple. We can go in our array now and we can change the bit level. We can put ones and zeros in different areas and step through them. And you'll notice it's pretty easy to change the output. So now it just becomes a matter of putting different data points into your array to turn different things on. You can see the wash water valve on and the detergent valve on at the same time just by adding or removing ones or zeros. We turn that off. We remove that one. 
Now we just have our wash water inlet valve on. And that concludes this tutorial.